In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a circle skirt pattern. I'm going to be working with a half scale mannequin. Her waist is 35 centimetres. So I'm going to make myself a little tool to help me to create the circles. So I've got a three centimetre wide piece of cardboard. And I'm just drawing a, li a line through the centre. So I know that the circumference of her waist is 35 centimetres. So I need to divide that by 6.28 to find the radius. So I've marked on the radius 5.5 and now I'm going to mark on the skirt length, which in this case is 35 centimetres long. Remember, I'm working half scale. And then I'm going to use a bradle to make some holes. First of all, the top hole, then the one that's 5.5 centimetres down, and then the one at the hem, the 35 centimetres one. So I'm going to get myself a new piece of paper and I'm going to draw on, first of all, a straight line and this is going to be the side seam. And then at a 90 degree angle, I'm going to draw what was going to be the centre front and the centre back of the skirt. Then I'm going to get my tool. I'm going to place the first hole on the very corner. I'm going to hold that down with a pin. And then I'm going to draw a circle using my tool, which is why I made the tool. See, clever. Now, I then need to draw the skirt part. So I put my pen into that hole that I made with the bradle and then I can draw the hem. So there we go. There's the circle skirt pattern. So obviously that's only a quarter of the skirt. So we need to cut that on the fold. So that will be the center front and the center back. As the skirt doesn't fit over the hips, we don't need to worry about um, the front and back being the same pattern. So then I'm going to add my seam allowance to the um to the waistline and to the side seams obviously i'm working half scale so when we do half scale we make the seam allowance 0.5 i'm not adding seam allowance to the hem because this is going to be a twall then i'm going to cut it out so now i'm going to create the waistband um pattern for the skirt it's very very simple to make the waistband because really it's just a rectangle so that will be the length of the waist which as you remember was 35 centimeters and I'm going to add 0.5 on either side for seam allowance. Um, I'm going for a narrow waistband here, so I'm just going to make it three centimetres. OK, so the pattern's completed now. So I'm going to cut it out in calico so you can all see what it looks like when it's made up. The front and the back pattern for the circle skirt are the same. The skirt actually only really fits at the waist and then flares straight out to, until the hem. So you don't need to worry about it fitting over the hip. So it's fine to use the same pattern for front and back. So I've pinned it down now. I'm going to cut it out um, with my fabric scissors. So now the skirt's cut out, I'm just going to use some of the leftover pieces of fabric to do the waistband. And then once I've cut the waistband out, I'm going to take it and sew it. Um, so you can see what it looks like when it's made up. So here we go, this is it made up now. You can see it's very full at the hem, but fitted at the waist. And this is the circle skirt. If you wanted to make it full size, just double the measurements.